Hi to Chaco. Colorful first fly. I think Colorful just won three games in a row against Fly. Fly did uh, do very well in GCS qualifiers. He even beat Live like twice. But as you can see, he's losing against uh, Colorful. He's also not doing, uh, he didn't do well against Elegant either in the practice matches. Of course, uh, usually he doesn't do very well against Live either. He did great last weekend. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Even winning the best of five, right? First uh, best of three and then a best of five. These grunts go for this Moogle. Can they cancel the Moogle? Actually, the Tree of Life very on hit points. Now let's go for this other Moogle. Is he going... Is this his... Uh, is he going all out? Is this Fly's all out best strategy here? Zero XP still on the Blade Mash, by the way. Level two Demon Hunter, but he only has two Moogles. Can he even get a Beastmaster? He can. If he wants to. Going to Tree of Eternity. We have a TC, everything is going up just fine. And here come the grunts, they're gonna kill this uh, Moonwall again. Cancel it again. Do, does he have any hidden Moonwalls? Maybe he should hide some of them. Or, oh, these tier 2 buildings, so bad here. So bad here for... Uh, for what's his name? For for Colorful. Colorful, yeah. How do you become a co-cast with Chaco? Uh, I don't really have any plans to do any co-casting anytime soon, especially not just with, uh, you know, just with my viewers. I mean, if, if I do co-cast, I'd probably do it with other casters. Uh, this grunt here might fall. Grunt gets away safely. Both those Angel of Winds did get cancelled. Very nice start here for uh what's his name again? Fly. Maybe he has a chance here. Don't you find any moon uh, moon's letter game? I want to see his game again. Let me uh let me re remember, let me uh, look up what moon's account is. So I can when I see it I know. Well if we see some moon games, I always love to watch the moon games as well. Mostly because it's just so rare. It's like, it's like some food that's very rare, like some uh, squid, squid, turtle pie or something. It's just, it's just very good, just because it's so rare. Not because it's uh, good by itself. That's how like what Moon is like. It's just it's so rare to see him play. That the games are just more exciting. I mean, the games are good by itself, but if we had like 10 games of Moon every day, you know, we wouldn't be as excited by more Moon games. But since we only have like one Moon game every full Moon, it's just so rare. It's just so exciting. It's so amazing. Um, yeah, so what uh, what do we have? 40 f supplier for fly, 26 for colorful. I wonder if colorful is still going to win this game, even after such a bad start. He might. He uh, won the last few games. Got a health stone. Eight master still level one. Oh, there's an archer in danger, but she's drinking all the moon juice, as many moon juices as she can. And she, uh, well, she will eventually die here. The grunts here against the beastmaster. The beast, well, do we have ensnare? We do have ensnare. One more ensnare. Do we have staff? He can buy staff. He, does, he can't buy staff. He's full of items. He has to use the dust first. Maybe should just uh, use the dust. I'll give the health stone, of course, to the beastmaster. What am I s s talking about? I don't know shit about Warcraft three. Of course, you can give a health stone to your other hero. Almost has master. He didn't kill anything. Uh, besides the archer, uh, while on the other hand, um, of, co oh, of course, he also folks uh, forced uh, Hellstone to be used. None of the orc units died though. The grunt's pretty low on hit points, but he can't just use healing salves. However, the XP advantage does go to Night Elf.
What do we have here on the top, by the way? Oh, an expansion. Smart. Fly realized he had a great start, so he might as well uh, get the expansion. But the Tinker is uh, in a bad situation here. But there's only one Grunt, and the Blade Master is still level 1. There's not that much DPS to the, against the heroes, so he's going for the dudes of the tail, and they're almost Master, but not yet. When is that Master done? That Angel War went down. The master master is almost done. Wait, isn't Master done some kind of dinosaur? This uh, Druid of the Thailand is, is... Oh, he dies to the Shockwave. Uh, this Raider is uh, very low on hit points, but it doesn't matter. He survives. This Druid of the Thailand does not survive. That one, the Grunt, didn't survive. The Piggies... Uh, what was this Shockwave? Is it like only the Beastmaster, I think? The Demon Hunter now fighting against the Blade Master, but the Blade Master has an Info Potion that he can use. And there he uses it. Meanwhile, uh, but he's... He cannot kill anything with the info potion, he's just level 2, he only has level 1 critical strike. This game is not over yet, but it kind of is going very well for Fly because he has his expansion. This was a beautiful expansion here. Normally, normally, uh, whenever I see Orc expand against Night Elf, they sometimes just do it when they don't really have a big enough ad advantage. And they just let the Night Elf back in the game and they lose. And I, so I always complain about it, I'm always like, this is so stupid, this expansion is the worst thing I've ever seen. This game, however, the, the advantage was big enough here for Fly. He can get his expansion up, and uh, he's mining already pretty soon. He's mining with one gold, one peon. He's sending over two more. They're walking past the piggy. Two more peons are also gonna walk past the piggy to this gold mine, and they're gonna mine the gold. And uh, there's nothing really colorful can do. He has to somehow win the fight right now. He's five supply behind, which is nice. Which is not bad there for Colorful. He has 3, 2, 1 heroes. He has a hero advantage. I guess maybe he can still win a fight right now. But the longer he waits, the more gold of an advantage. The more gold advantage um, Fly gets. Over dying slowly or fastly. Uh, there's a beautiful Cyclone. The Beastmaster is taking hits from the level 5. Who got the item? The item went to the Orc. XP, I'm not sure, but... It it's not as important as the item, I feel like. There was a Skull of the Beast used, some healing item was used on Demon Hunter as well. Skull of the Beast used, but he immediately retreats. Blade Master is surrounded. He has to defend his Blade Master or he has to... Or he loses his Blade Master and that might mean he's gonna lose his uh, expansion as well. You should probably be scouting that expansion, by the way, with a Wisp. He knew... The, oh, the, I don't like this Pocket Factory placement. He should know there's a... a Chance that Orc went for the expansion because it's such a good early game. This dude of Thailand, Maiko died as well. Beautiful Maiko here by Colorful. Bars this Maiko. There it is. Uh, and the Demon Hunter has to TP home. And this is looking just just nice here for Fly. He is uh, only one supply up. He is still behind in hero levels. But he holds off one more time. And that means his expansion is getting him so much gold. That's why he has 750 gold. I have colorful only 170. XP went to Night of Tinker, got level up of it. Okay, so that was nice then for. Uh, well, XP, getting the XP was nice for colorful. Thanks, uh, thanks, Linge. Or the Skull of the Beast was, I feel, more important. Imagine if the Skull of the Beast there went to Night Elf instead of Orc. Instead of Orc getting plus 25% damage on the army, Knight of would have gotten plus 20%, 25% damage on the army. And then maybe that fight could have been won by Colorful. And then that expansion would have been in danger if he scouted for it, at least. Well, hasn't seen it. Hasn't ever scouted it. I think he will scout it way too late. Here we have another... Uh, there's a Cyclone on the Blade Master. It's gonna be difficult for Colorful to come back, but it's still possible. It is still possible. He just needs to win the next fight and then kill the expansion. Scout for it, kill it. Like, oh, he might get another mana burn off. No, oh, wait, that shockwave hit like one piggy and one dude of the table. What a bad shockwave. Who cares about mana burning that TC if he cannot hit his shockwaves anyway? Blade Master comes in, he's gonna get killed maybe, even if he used that info potion. Um. This dude of the Thailand, can he save it? The Demon Hunter getting blocked by these little stupid clockwork goblins. So the, the Demon Hunter couldn't be killed at Oh, please, birdie, please, birdie, please. Oh, 
That that guy didn't need to wasn't uh, didn't deserve to die. Maybe he didn't have the mana. I think he had the mana. This dude of the ten. Also birdie. Where? Oh, doesn't need to birdie. Uh, is he buying TP here or? Yes, it's the TP. He already saw it coming, of course. He saw the orc moving to his base. Oh, he has his speed score. He has his speed score out here. Or yeah. Oh, he misses one raider. And oh, some cyclones. Some cyclones. Some cyclones. I guess no cyclones. See, the, the Druids of the Talon in the front didn't have mana for Cyclone. Of course, he can just get the Blade Master back. Fly still in a very good position. Even after losing the Blade Master, he just buys it back from the tavern. Tavern. He's uh, almost 20 spy up. His, his expansion is still not scouted here by Colorful. He's sending a Wisp now. Maybe when he sees the expansion, he just GG's out because. There's no chance anymore. There's just no chance for Colorful anymore. He's behind the supply. He's still ahead in hero levels, is he? He's still ahead in the hero levels, but it's not enough. He's uh, 20 supply behind and we have double income or at least 1.4 times the income here for Orc. He has the better items. He has the better everything. There's a nice shockwave. Not everything. Not Still not the better heroes. The hero levels, maybe they can make a comeback here. The Beastmaster is almost level three. We'll have three level three heroes for Colorful. And just two level two heroes here for fly. Actually, maybe it's not GG yet. Just the heroes by themselves might still be able to win the game. There's a level three beast master. There's an info potion here on the blade master, but he only has level one critical strike. Remember, and it's not like he has a lot of damage. Sure, he has one glove of haste, but that's it. The blade master gets cyclone, but we don't even care. He does so little damage. The demon hunter is just gonna kill him. There's a mana burn, 31 mana burn. Look, blade master has to retreat here. Uh, the dudes of the Talon are slowly dying though to the raiders. Remember, it's much harder to rebuild uh, if you're knight over here and you only have half the income of the orc. In the meantime, he is building ancient of war there close to the expansion. It just finished. Uh, hopefully you know this and you can uproot it, although it's kind of difficult to do it during the fight when you have other things to micro. Did Blade Master fall? Blade Master fell by the way, I missed that. Uh, we saw him almost dying and then later apparently he died. He's back though. He is not uprooting this Ancient of War and walked into the peon line. That would have been so nice, uh, killing the peons during this fight instead of uh, trying to do it after the fight. Because then Orc can defend again. Uh, Demon Hunter level 4, was I completely wrong? 549, 37 here for Colorful, but this hero is just so strong. Maybe if the, if the Tinker dies, he, does he have staff? He does have a TP. Don't let your Tinker die, give him a TP. No, the, T, the Tinker died. He did have staff, by the way. Uh, it's a level 3 Tinker, so that's quite a big deal. Uh, he TPs out the Beastmaster, he kills so, so much. Man, I guess uh, Colorful, I, I was saying earlier, this should just GG. I, was, I should have shut my mouth. I should have just shut my mouth. I should let you guys watch this game without me saying anything. Instead of words walking over. Life? Did I say life? We, of course, we, uh... Oh, we have life? Damn it. Sorry, guys. I thought it was colorful. Didn't realize it was life. It is because Life and Colorful, they have very similar names, and uh, I only see the Chinese names. My software automatically uh, changes it to the to wherever it is. What about last game? Was that also Life or was it Colorful? It is, uh, it is Life. Our warriors have engaged the I mean, it's, it's whatever it says for you guys. This uh, Druid of the Talon is being killed here by the Blade Master. It does go down, 138 critical strike. Oh, can, I, can he serve the Tinker? No. I mean, it's not like he had to save it, but I mean, could he revive it? Beastmaster with the Piggy, the Piggy killing the peons. Can life actually come back here? Uh, if he loses the Tree of Eternity, it's not the biggest deal. If he kills a bunch of raiders for it, it's definitely worth it. Like that, well, actually, Still 1500 gold. I just, he would have to kill a lot of raiders actually to uh, for that to be worth it. But in the end, it doesn't go down. I think life is still going to win this game. He's only nice fly up, but his heroes are just so much weaker. Uh, so much, uh, yeah, so much stronger for life. So much weaker here for the orc player for uh, fly. Have an info potion school of healing. More peons dying. Look how many peons he killed over here. 
Prince of War is still up. If he's going to try to defend that, his main is in danger here. This is so nice. Oh, but no. Life is going to defend his Ancient of War. Uh, does he have an altar backup? Does he get a Tinker? No, he just goes and plays without the Tinker. Eon uh, will eventually die here. We have over here. We is he going for the base again? How much hit points on the Sea of Eternity? Thirteen hundred fifty-one. 1200 gold left of course uh if he if he keeps his tree of eternity alive he can also walk you know walk it over later for a free expansion I have a level four beast master that means birdie is very good in this kind of situation where the orc is just trying to uh hit and run and we have piggies and all oh, this angel war what is he doing why is he not killing the peon What a miss micro there by life. Okay, micro's is back. We have a dead spirit walker here, by the way. Probably killed by the piggies. I probably uh, miss micro there by fly. Oh, the TC is going to die here for sure. There's a nice shockwave. Oh, where's that cyclone? I said for sure. Please kill him. Okay, never mind. He goes and defends his main base. He could maybe just defend it with a few heroes. I'm not sure. His TC, yeah, he's just uh, going home with his Beastmaster, maybe? No, he's by his TP. Oh, the Tree of Eternity in trouble. Where is the unload uh, of the Wisps? No, he, no, there's a TP. He did kill the TC in time, but he's... He, oh, do we have TP here? We do have a TP here. The Tree of Eternity went down, 580 gold left. And... Uh, but, of course, this, is, this gold mine is out of gold, and he's not mining here, so... Not like uh, Fly is getting a lot of gold. Did he have pillage? He did have pillage. He's gonna get his TC back. He's gonna build some more raiders. Hey Chaco, where does Lin rank amongst the players now? He won a, a tournament a few days ago, right? He won. Uh, what did he win? I forgot. He did. He did uh, poorly at the GCS qualifiers. I remember that. But he won something. He did. But what was it? Was it Hulls Cup or something last week? Was that it? Anyway, uh, Lin, I still, uh, I, st I just don't really want to rate Lin yet at the moment because he's still just very, uh, or very, he's still a little bit rusty. It's very uh, hard to say. We've seen him lose games against players he shouldn't be losing. He did uh, well in one tournament. He cannot uh, let this gold mine mine, of course. Can he kill the blade master? Yes, he can. Blade master is dead, right? If you have enough cyclones here, this blade master is dead. That he has one uh, info potion. But meanwhile, the raiders are killing his base. How many raiders do we have? Oh, there's not enough raiders. There are Druids of the ten defending. They should be Michael back though. Behind the tree, behind the ancients of uh, whatever wins and GG.